at the Norco Bikes booth in Interbike day one. I tracked down Ryan Leach, and I'm going to you know, badger, badger him for a bit and bug him and what, find out what's going on with him in 06. What do you got planned for 06, Ryan? Oh, boy. Big question. Um, lots of projects going on. Always got something cooking. Um, you know what? I do a lot of trial shows, so I'm actually going to be focusing on uh, a new presentation where I combine my trial show with an inspirational speech with... Uh, with schools, so I'm going to visit a bunch of schools, and so that's sort of uh, I'm doing a test uh, this fall. I'm going to hit it up four or five schools, and then I'm going to go for it next year. That's one thing. Uh, number two is I'm actually working on a seminar called Mastering the Mind Game of Riding. So uh, that's something I've been researching and studying and writing for uh, probably about a year now, and it's been an integral part of my riding throughout my career. So I want to try to share that with you know the general cycling public I think it's an important part that's been overlooked so uh, anything big bubbling brewing around anything you want to any bombs you want to drop on the uh, viewer pub, viewing public I'm pretty fortunate to be here hopefully to sign a new contract with a new company and chances are it's gonna happen but I don't know for sure but rumor has it that I've got a big sponsorship announcement coming up. Well, best of luck with that, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we find out real soon. I'm sure. Would you pay attention to what's going on in the underground? You'll figure it out real soon. You'll find out what's going on with Ryan Leach. Thanks, buddy. Right on. Thanks, Ryan. Here we are, Rip TV at the Norco booth at Interbike. I'm here with Pete Saysmith from Norco, and he's going to tell us more about the 06 line coming out from these guys. So uh, what's the first bike we're going to look at? Well, let's start from the top. That's always the easiest. Uh, Team DH Race, uh, we're in probably our fifth or sixth year. Uh, Team DH Race was a winner in 05, but we definitely had some further modification, a lot of work with guys like Shams, Fionn Griffith, Mike Jones. Um, you know, all these guys put together a lot of information on what we were looking for for this year for coming up for 06. Uh, general feeling was they wanted a bike that was lower, slacker, uh, just, you know, faster, basically faster DH bike, and that's what they got. The bike is almost two inches lower overall for the ride, like cockpit height. Uh, added a new uh, hydroform uh, seat mass section on it. Um, still same travel, we're dealing with a, a nine inch uh, rear travel and eight inch front travel bike, so definitely a big downhill race bike. That's yeah, very, very tight looking. You guys got amazing components back, it looks like, as well. Yep. Top of the line component spec, I mean, that's what we've always done. Uh, Hadley Hubs, Chris King headset, you know, top of the line SRAM stuff, E13 guides. I mean, all the good stuff for sure. Uh, we also experimented around and we're doing the frame in an anodized black. So it's not painted, it's actually anodized, no different than an anodized component part. Uh, we're going to do a limited release of white as well for the team and some other, uh, some key dealer release as well. So uh, what's, uh, what's going on with the A-Line this year? I know when the A-Line first uh, came out, it was a very different beast than it is today. What's, what's going down with the A-Line right now? Well, in this whole series, we're talking the Team DH Race, A-Line, and Atomic. We're looking at this as basically our race series. Uh, three different price points, you know, in around the five grand, three grand, and low two. So uh, if you look at the A-Line, what we're doing is we're transferring all the information down from our current year bike. So this would be a very, very close takeoff of our current year 2005 race bike, uh, just with lower components back. So instead of Hadley Hubs, we're going to put on a formula. Instead of a Chris King, you know, like a, a, a another name brand headset. But, you know, you're talking $2,500 less. So, uh, you know, full, uh, full race, full proven, uh, but at a lot less money, so a little bit more affordable. So, so a lot of the, the stuff that you see on the race bike, whether it's the link arms, whether it's the you know, new uh, you know, solid yoke that's being recessed out, uh, you know, basically a lot of transfer technology down here. So really what the difference there is component spec difference between those two bikes. The A-Line also has been an absolute winner rental bike. There's guys like, you know, Whistler being renting them, you know, Sun Peaks, Mount Washington, and these bikes, you know, they have like, seriously, some of these bikes have had up to a million vertical feet on them in a course of one season, uh, still hanging together, still killing it. So, I mean, that's the kind of thing where it's a proven platform, it's a proven bike that, you know, somebody says, hey, I only can afford 3,000 bucks, do I buy a used race bike or do I buy a brand new A-Line? And they can go out there, get a brand new A-Line and go kill it, whether they're free riding or racing. All right, Pete, so what's going down with the shore line? This looks like the everyday sort of uh, free ride line. Absolutely. Uh, Ryan, I mean, we've been doing shore bikes for years and years now, and this is no different. As we look ahead to 2006, uh, there's been definitely some changes in the shore line. Uh, you'll see some new framework with the hydroform tubing, and also something new, totally new in that area is the single crown, big single crown bikes. 
we had guys that were you know loving the shore bikes but they wanted to like throw in the x ups at the same time uh, that's what the bikes are built for now they've been tested all 305 and they're ready to rip for 06. These bikes are, are meant to be free ridden both up and down. They're not necessarily a shuttle bike. If you're going shuttle, probably the A line would be better, like a single chain ring bike. I mean, these bikes can be converted to single chain ring, but they are meant to be pedaled. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of us at the office that get out and pedal these bikes up. And you got to pedal them up before you go down. So, all through the series, we have Shore 1, Shore 2, and Shore 3. Uh, again, sharing the same frames, but uh, different component spec, but again, all double chain ring. And, like you pointed out, uh, telescoping seat posts. You can slide it right up for the climb up drop it down for the rip down. In past years we've used a fairly standard uh, graphic on a lot of the range of bikes. Uh, we've done a lot of work, our graphics team has done a lot of work on what people want for that style of bike. And you'll notice, you know, when you're looking at the uh, Team DH race and A-Line, it's a very racy looking decal, you know, almost like more like a ski race style design. Uh, whereas if you go into the shore, this is definitely snowboard and skate driven. A, a lot of pretty brand new graphics and, uh, and you know, different fonts and everything else. Different colors in the frames as well, a lot more soft and, and earth tone type colors, yeah. So what's this? I've never seen the four cross bike from Norco before. This looks like unlike anything I've seen from you guys. Yeah, it's brand new for 06 as well. We actually did about uh, seven or eight different prototype versions for 05. Uh, a lot of the team raced on it. Fionn Griffiths went, went right through on the World Cup series to fifth overall in the world on this bike. Uh, we're doing it two different ways. We're doing it as a complete bike. Fairly affordable spec though, knowing that that's probably somebody's second or third bike. And we're also doing it as a frame only that somebody can build up as Gucci as they want. Uh, Four inches of travel, four inches of travel front and rear, uh, 2,500 bucks suggested retail on the complete bike, which is smoking, and uh, it'll be in the 12 or 1,300 bucks range for the frame set to build up any way you want. So again, Pete, we're seeing something totally new from you guys. What's up? This is a whole new line or what? Yeah, well, Fluid has been around for years, but this definitely is a whole new platform. Uh, we've gone away from the four bar link that we use on the big bikes and whatnot, and the only reason why we did that was because of weight. The people in this all mountain kind of category are definitely concerned about the weight, and we can get the bikes lower weight with this rocker style four bar technology. We have two different models, Flu uh, sorry, Fluid 1, Fluid 2, both share the same frame here again, and it's a component spec. Uh, five inches of travel front and back, kind of a cool all mountain Canadian type backcountry bike. And uh, wh what are these uh, bikes starting off at for price? Uh, in around the $3,000 range, uh, between three and about $1,600. So, you know, there's three different models and again, sharing the same frames, but it's just component spec. So depending on what you're looking for and how high you want to go on the component spec. So the other cool bike in this kind of area for like kind of aggressive all mountain is the VPS6. Uh, 2005 mountain biking bike of the year for their uh, off-road sort of uh, free ride style bike. Um, it's just kind of a cool six inch bike front and back, kind of an all like all purpose Burly. In other words, if you wanted to go to Whistler or you want to like ride a little more aggressive trail than a fluid, this VPS6 is going to be the one. Six inches travels at both ends, burly bike. You know, for your viewers, I'd just say, hey, go to Norco.com, select 2006 bikes, select kind of what series you want to go to. All the specs are up there, all the photos, all the information, all the prices, everything's there. Well, thanks a lot, man. That's going to work out great. Wicked. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Thank you. And we are out from Norco. 06. Line.